Hi, this is a quick walk through the pen test reporting software Sysreptor. I will show you how the reporting process is going, how to customize everything and the designs and how to create new finding templates. I will use the playground that you can access via the Sysreptor docs. Just click on it and you will get a dedicated account. So this is our user, the demo user with this random string. Uh, is, this is created that you do not interfere with other uh, demo users. When we log in, we have a project overview. We can click into one of the projects like the Margarita project. And if you're here, you see that you have multiple sections like uh, the executive summary with a markdown field. We would have the scope. In the scope, you see uh, again a markdown field. We have an image that you can just uh, paste into the markdown editor and the image gets uploaded. You can add a caption and in the split view that you can, uh, you can toggle here, uh, you can you see also the rendered caption. We have a table here in Markdown which also gets rendered in the preview. We have additional fields like uh, strings or also dates when the pen test took place. You can save the data. Uh, as soon as you're done you can set it to ready for review. You can assign it to a colleague uh, or set it to finished and save. We have also findings as sections like the SQL injection. Again, you can set the status, uh, you can assign it, you can set the title, you can use the CVSS editor to adapt the CVSS score. You have different fields uh, that are now configured for this design that you can uh, customize on your own as you like. We have a summary here. A short recommendation, we have affected components where we can also add other components like uh, one.example.com or switch to bulk edit, uh, add line by line your, your targets, your affected targets, switch back and you have everything here. You have the technical description and so on. We can also create a new finding. This is made via this button. You can either create an empty finding or choose a finding template that you have predefined. For example, user enumeration, create from template. And here you can go through the texts, see if you need to adapt something. We have now uh, added a to do here uh, where you have to add uh, technical details for your pen test, which cannot pre filled in templates. As soon as you're done with reporting, you can go to publish and you get your PDF rendered on the left hand side. And here are all findings in PDF form. On the right hand side, we have a few warnings like this unresolved to do. Uh, we can click onto that link and go back to the issue where we find the to-do that still needs to fill out. You can download your report either encrypted or unencrypted. You will also want to customize your PDF design and your input fields. This is something that can be done under designs. In this case I will create a new design or I will copy a design from, I will copy the margarita design. This is always good uh, to use an existing design as the base. Um, we will name it private margarita design. This I cannot edit the global designs here in the demo uh, or in the, in the playground, but I can create a private design this is, that is only visible to my user. When I click to PDF designer, we have an HTML editor here on the left hand side and on the right hand side we get the preview of our PDF. Uh, we can change everything in the HTML, we can uh, create new headings, uh, reference variables from the reporting process. This is uh, Vue.js. Uh, Vue.js can be used for 
if conditions, uh, for loops, uh, to reference uh, variables and so on. And you're very flexible, you can, you can change everything uh, in regards to your design. Uh, most of the design elements are defined in the CSS, like for example the colors. Here we have the colors of this vulnerability overview chart that you can change or we can also change the header. We have a gray color, you can hover it and select something more bluish, refresh the PDF and see how it looks like. When we want to change the logo, we can switch to assets where you can upload images, for example. You can delete the existing logo and upload your own logo, refresh the PDF and see how it looks like. We can save and now what should we do or what can we do if we need additional uh, fields uh, at the reporting? So we had for example in the report multiple sections like the executive summary, the scope, customer and so on. If we uh, we can go to report fields and if we want to add a new section we can do so. We can for example create a new appendix. This is the section ID that's what you can reference in the HTML and uh, define a, a label for the pen testers. We can add a field here now. For example if you want to have multiple appendix chapters then you can, we can say appendix chapters. Uh, say this is a data type of a list we call it chapters and this might be a list of markdown uh, fields where you can enter default value to do add content and save it and now if you use this design uh, you will have the additional section appendix and this appendix data can then be referenced in your HTML, which that will then be rendered to a PDF. And you can iterate through that list and reference the markdown. If you want to change the fields of your findings, you can go to finding fields. And here we have the list of fields that you have to enter for a finding, like the summary, a short recommendation, you have the data types, we have certain predefined fields and if you can uh, prefer predefined fields because later when we create finding templates uh, you can for example pre-fill your summary with some text but if you rename this ID to do something else then the templates will not be compatible between multiple designs so prefer uh, predefined fields where you can but if you cannot use a predefined field, you can create a new field uh, like something short, summary, select your data type, uh, set the label like short summary and add, maybe mark it as to do. Uh, this is the default value, add short summary and save it. Now when you are done with designing your reports and we go back to our projects, um, those existing projects will not be affected of the changes of your design because every time uh, you create a new project the design is actually copied uh, that you can reproduce the same design at a later point in time. Um, so here we see that Today this design was copied, but if you want to customize the design of this project, you can go to publish, say customize design, and here again you get the same designer where you can adapt HTML, CSS and assets and customize your project design. Let's have a look at the templates. At the finding templates we cannot change them here because we're on the playground but we can have a look 
um, we have all fields that are also available when we fill out a finding uh, and in this case all fields of all designs are displayed here on the left hand side. If you usually work with a certain uh, with a certain design most often you might want to choose that design and then you get the, all uh, fields displayed that, that are used in that certain design or if you choose all designs you get all fields displayed but you can hide or set them visible um, here. I hope you like the walkthrough. If you have any questions you can go to GitHub discussions and drop your ideas or your questions. Have a nice day, bye bye.